just wanna live this moment over again yeah, I just wanna stay here, don't want this thing to end Cause now we in a rhythm Oh, my daughter is growing up You said you have to stay when I was like really young, you said to stay this size and yeah, I couldn't. You promised you were gonna stay little. I, but I can't do that. <laughs> I wish I could just inject you with a, a little bit of some kind of medication that would make you stay small forever. Hello. <laughs> Hello, world. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Hallie. <laughs> She's Hallie. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Anjali, if this is your first time here. This is my daughter, Hallie. Hi. So today we thought that we would do a holiday makeup tutorial, a makeup look. And I know Christmas has already passed, but New Year's Eve is just around the corner. So we thought, why not do um, a cool, fun New Year's Eve look? If you're planning to go out, you can rock this look. But for a fun little twist, instead of doing it on myself, I'm going to be doing the makeup look on my daughter's face. <laughs> so if that look interests you or that idea interests you and you want to keep watching, please do. But first, subscribe down below to our channel. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, like this video, and be sure to comment down below and let us know what you think. So first, my mom's going to put the moisturizer on my face so that my face isn't dry. So. First step, whenever you put on makeup, is to always wash your face. Give yourself a clean palette to work with. And it's winter time, so it's even more important to moisturize the face. But even in the summertime or whatever time of the year it is, you always prime your face with a moisturizer. So we're gonna go in and moisturize her face. And today we're using Clinique. This is a moisturizer by Clinique. It's called Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. It's a gel cream. And I've been using this every day uh, this season, and I really like it. It's like has like a gel creaminess to it um, and kind of feels refreshing too. So we got that all over your face. Okay. All right. So then now we're going to be going in with some Maybelline Illuminator. After we have moisturized the face, we're gonna go in and illuminate the under eye area. Look up. And this is something that I use on a daily basis. Show them your little tribal um, design on your face. And then we go up the nose to define the bridge and so it looks like a little flower and it looks like I have a line long under eye lashes <laughs> and we're gonna go in with this wet beauty blender and this is one of my go-to um, under eye illuminators. I use this kind of on a daily basis. Then just blend on the nose. I really like this product. And it's not a high end product, but it really works well. I like the consistency, it's really creamy. All right, take a look. <laughs> <laughs> this is what mommy does, so we're just showing everybody what mommy does on your cute little face. <laughs> All right.
just went in with my Mac Compact, my Mac Studio Fix Press Powder. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a bronzer. This is a bronzer by Lancome that we're gonna be using today. That kissy face is a must in order to make sure you apply it on to the right part of your other cheekbone. <laughs> I'm really big on bronzer, as you can see. Okay, this is a, a blush by Wet n Wild. Don't know the name of it. And we're gonna use this just on the apples of our cheeks. And if we're going out at night time, we kind of want to pack on a little bit more color at night because it just pops a little bit more in the daytime. You don't want to put as much color, but at night you can afford to go a little bit more. Wow. A little more. Give it a little bit more zing. Right? So that it pops in the pictures and stuff. That's looking super cute. We have this um, palette here. I'm going to go in with this color right here, just to do a little bit more uh, contouring. So they show them that cheekbone. It just shows, and then keep turning like that. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my big fluffy brush, um, and I'm just pinching the bristles into more of a narrow line in order to apply, turn that way, to apply our Cheekbones. Okay. Other side? Let me see the other side. Okay, let me see the other side. Since I don't have the proper brush. Uh, um, okay, keep this one silly both sides. Super cute. Okay, so now we're gonna do the eyes. And I usually use uh, Vampire. <laughs> I usually use a precision liquid eyeliner. Um, I like the boldness of the black and the precision on the wing. But for Hallie, I'm just going to go in with this um, pencil, brown eyeliner pencil, because I think it'll give her just a more, you know, subdued, softer look on the eye. What in your eye? How cute! <laughs> How cute are you? Aww. How cute is my Hallie toy? So whenever mommy's getting ready every day, she always just helps herself, gets in my makeup bag, and starts applying lip gloss, lipstick, and uh, blush and stuff. So she really already has this knack for putting on makeup, whether she's just, let me see. What's that thing down there? Yeah, it's, I'm gonna take it off. It's a little bit of the. Now, uh, this is not something that we do on a daily basis for Hallie. Um, Mommy puts on makeup every day, and then she'll go into my my makeup bag and she'll start playing around with my lip gloss and my lipstick and my blush. But again, we're just kind of showing you my routine, um, but a little bit modified since we're doing it on her I face. I wanna put the eyeshadow. You wanna put the eyeshadow? Okay, let's put eyeshadow. So now we're gonna put some eyeshadow per Hallie's request. Mm -mm. So today we're using this uh, Neiman Market palette. Now I'm it has a lot of nice fall one. and autumn colors and winter colors. I think the black is gonna be it's gonna be a little too much. Why don't we just do one of these? We'll do like a plumish color. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go into the crease with this. Uh, it's like a brownie, brownish plum color. I'm so 
such small eyelids. Let me see. Let me come. Look at me. Oh, how pretty. <laughs> so cute. You're like my little mini me, huh? Yeah, of course. You're my daughter, so. I just love how girly Hallie's turning out to be. But at the same time, she's very helpful and just well rounded. Not too like sassy or anything. Always thinking of mommy and everything. So she's just a super all around sweet girl. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go. Pick an apple color. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna take it. This is like a deeper, like purpley color. I'm gonna go in the corners. Okay. And just do the little outer V. We're going for a deep plum smoky look tonight. New Year's Eve, we're going to celebrate ringing in the new year, 2018. Let me see, chill in that eye. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Your tiny little eyelids are so cute to work with. You don't even have like a crease in your eye. <laughs> this is actually, believe it or not, this is the first time that I've done a full face of makeup on Hallie. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so let's finish it up. So pretty. Now we're gonna go in with this kind of shimmery light color, like shimmery pink. And we're gonna put that right, we're gonna pat it right on the eyelid. It pokes my eyeballs. Oh, look how cute you are. It's poking? I'm sorry, baby. I'm supposed to be just patting them, put patting. That's not out. I'm patting you. No, like this. Me too. With the thing, it's like. It's just pat. See? Pat. Okay, but we're all done patting now. <laughs> so, uh, that is so cute. We can do your eye, your eyebrows a little bit. Yeah, eyebrows, eyebrows. So, I usually go in with a pencil first to kind of shape and define mine first, but she has some really pretty eyebrows already, so we're just going to enhance what's there. And we're not going too far in depth into shaping her brow, obviously. I look weird with the eyebrow thing. Okay. The, the, the darkening of it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'll look. Do you want to wipe it off? Yeah. Okay. So Hallie doesn't want to have darker eyebrows. She's already been blessed with beautiful, nice, full eyebrows. So we're just going to skip that part. Is that better? <laughs> Can I do something? Yeah, go ahead. You can brush your eyebrows. Go ahead. So, what is your favorite um, makeup to put on, Hallie Joy? Lipstick. Yeah, lipstick. And what's your favorite shade of lipstick to put on? Like <laughs> this color. Yeah. So we're gonna work with that today. Next step, we're gonna do after we put a little bit of mascara on Hallie's eyes, is we're gonna work on her lips. Okay. So look up. I've never put a um, mascara on her before. I've never put any of this on with her before. Usually when she plays with my makeup, I'll let her play with my face powder and blush and then some lips, lipstick or lip gloss. That's as far as um, I've ever let her go before. So this is new for the both of us, a new experience. It's fun and why not? You know, it's for ringing in the new year, ringing in 2018. So hold on first. What's the first step that mommy told you whenever you're gonna put on some lipstick. What do you do first? Put lipstick. Yeah, you gotta moisturize your lips. You don't want to put lipstick on dry lips. You always want them to be nice and smooth and moisturized. And you outline your lips. This is a pink um, Milana, Milani brand lip liner. 
No, I want you to do it. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to do it. Sit down. Mommy will do it. I think the person myself. So we line the lips. Okay. Now I'm gonna go go ahead and bring that lip liner into your lips. Go like this. All right. That kind of pulls the color in from the out outer perimeter of your lips. <laughs> Goofy girl. <laughs> into the uh, rest of your lips. So we're gonna, and that's okay. Lip liner can be all over, or lip liner can be just on the outer perimeter of your lips. I wanna do half of my lips. Okay, so now we're gonna use this Clinique Chubby Stick in Strawberry, <laughs> Super Strawberry by Clinique. It's and it's kind of like a big crayon, so I'm gonna let Hallie put that on. Good job. Do I put it on the top lip? Yeah. This is not a full cover, full coverage lipstick. It's very much like a tint. It's just, but it has a, a creaminess of like a crayon. Um, and it just gives a nice subtle tint. Well, this is kind of a little bit more than subtle, but as you can see, it's still a really nice. Um, oh, that looks so pretty on you. A nice look. Nothing too bold. Of course, if it was myself, I'd go in there with something a little bit bolder, but I think that this is just perfect for her. I think we're all done. All right. So as you can see, we are pretty much done. <laughs> She's such a good fall, always making faces. But this is our final look, and I want you to come closer, Hallie. Come closer and show them your final look. Like, come right out here. All right, so we have such a beautiful look. We got the, the bronzer and we have the, the eyeshadow, the lipstick, her blush. And I think it just looks so cute on her little precious face. Um, obviously for me, if <laughs> it's me, I go a little all bit out. more all out. We, I go more all out, yes, thank you. Um, on my face, if I was going out, I'd go all out. But I try to tone it down a little bit because it's on her cute little eight-year-old face. Um, but the products I used on her are a lot of the products that I use on a daily basis. I like to mix up the drugstore brands and the high-end brands. I hope that you liked this look and how it turned out on my beautiful Hallie girl. We hope that you liked it. Give it a thumbs up and happy new year, happy holidays. We hope you all bring in the New Year really safely in 2018. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>